you should've never gave up on me Remember I ain't had no views, they ain't players Mixed emotions Got teary eye when I wrote this What's up, gangs? Damo G bands, Money Making Monday. I'm in my car right now. Just pulled up to the um to the DC or whatever. Just got off my 34 hour reset, and um I just want to take y'all with me and show y'all as much as I can about the Best Buy account, like how you actually do it, what's the steps you take, where you gotta go, and like the paperwork and the tablet and all that. So I'm gonna try and show y'all as much as possible, man. Um. Once you get to the DC or whatever, you gotta go to the Lagarde Shack. Somebody there right now, so I'm uh waiting because it's too goddamn cold to be standing out there. But um, if you were Warner and you come to this Best Buy location or probably any Best Buy location, I'm not sure, but this one specific where I'm at in Boilingbrook, um, you are priority. It took me a while to uh, learn that because I seen somebody like jump the line. I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But he taught me that you priority, you know. You, when you come, you can skip the line. You ain't got to wait like the rest of them trucks. Because it be a line for the trucks. You don't got to get behind them to get your paperwork, at least. When it's time for you to get your, uh, you know, when you, like, drop your trail off, you probably got to wait in lines. One time I did still skip the line or whatever. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, though, you are priority. So, I'm going to, um, finna walk to the guard shack now, actually. We're going to hit together, shit. <laughs> And when you get to the guard shack, you uh, you basically tell them either the trailer number you got or the store number you got, so they can find your paperwork. Um, the, how you figure, how you uh figure that out is um through the app, through the warning app. When you get the when you get the warning app, when you start working here, it's gonna say like what job you got, like what store or what trailer number. And then that's what you tell the guard, and they give you your paperwork. You gonna find your trailer. What's up? I got uh store 208. 208. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Okay, Cold as fuck out here, gang. For sure. All right, appreciate it. 74136. Thank you, Paige. All right. <laughs> All right, so I got the paperwork, gang. I'm going to go to my truck now. And uh, you know, get in there, set it up, do the pre-trip or whatever, uh, log into the tablet. You know what I'm saying? Warm this motherfucker, the goddamn truck up, cause it's cold as hell. Like for real, man. I really hate the cold, bro. I'm not like a fan of this shit at all. I don't think nobody is, but I do got like one. I do know like one person that like the goddamn winter. And in Chicago, if you know, man, you know. The winter don't be fucking around, man. Especially when it's time for this snow. But yeah, uh, um, my truck at the DC, so I'm literally like just pulling up. I'm gonna pull up to it now. All right, y'all. We pulled up to a big dog. Somebody next to me. They must have been sleeping. But their truck running. I'm assuming it ain't in the front. All right, I'm going to start this joint up, man. Hopefully, it warm up fast. Y'all hear? Um. Damn, look. <laughs> look, look I dropped the camera. But, uh, yeah. Y'all here hesitating? It's gonna be cold as hell. That motherfucker don't even want to start sometimes. But I, I'm getting to the point where I think I need a new battery, man. Like, for real, because even at night, I mean, when I'm, like, trying to run the bunk heater, that shit only run for so long but the beeping is because it don't got no air or whatever so you gotta let the air pressure build so you know you just wait on that that don't take nothing no long that long all right i'm gonna go through like a real quick ass free trip with y'all at least on video because it, it'd be too much to under that hood but i definitely want to make sure i check my lights all the time for sure around. and i kick each tire because you know i don't have so many flats and I know when it's flat, cause it, that shit just gonna kick in. You wanna make sure that shit working as far as your lights. Like I said again, I kick every tire. Take the lights back here. You see little shit like your mud flat wood. Tire again. I throw on my headphones. 
so y'all can uh, hear me. Let's see it, play. Now look, it's a thing that's supposed to be right here. Yo, uh, it's like hooked on right here. You see it's chipped off that you hold these on. But the shit broke off, man. So I had to improvise and I bought like a little tad, tad thing. I wanted a, a little rope. It's not a rope, but it got like a hook. You can hook it in there and pull it and you can hook it in there and you can slide them in there. That's what, what uh, my trainers had to secure it. But this been working for me, so. I was mad as hell that shit have broke off or whatever. But this how I uh, keep it secure or whatever. All right, that air pressure finished building up. So, um, you know, the beep was stopped or whatever. So now I'm going to um, go into my tablet and basically, you know, uh, go on duty or whatever. You really supposed to do the pre-trip, go, go to pre-trip, how I did the pre-trip. You supposed to go on the tablet first, put that you put in pre-trip, but... I don't know why I be doing it backwards sometimes. So you go on the tab, hold on, let me show y'all. <clears throat> the famous tablet, man. Go on the tablet. Here where it says sleeper. Cause my, my time reset, you also can see that. By hitting the 30 minute DOT. And you see all that shit reset it. I got a fresh clock. Go to sleeper. You go on duty. Then you scroll all the way up. Pre-trip inspection. Shit. That shit ain't coming up on the screen, but pre-trip inspection. And you hit next. It start shift. It's starting to shift, man. And then it's gonna put you on duty now. Remember it was just red, I mean blue and sleeper. Now it's green on duty or whatever. And my uh 14 hour clock start start. Y'all see it? Now it say 13. It started off at 14. When you go on duty, like I said in the hours of service video, yo, uh, 14 hour clock is running. 30 minutes don't start running until uh I start driving. Or oh, whatever, man. So yeah, we gonna uh, wait. We supposed to wait 15 minutes, they say, for free trip. And then you go on about your business. So, now that I got the uh, paperwork, this is the paperwork gonna look like. The, um, on the app, it only gave me the store numbers. But when they give you the paperwork, that's how you find the trailer. So I got 30, I got 366801. So I'm finna go over there and find this uh, trailer so you guys can see uh, the little hookup, whatever, which is basic, you know what I'm saying? All right, gang, so I'm in the DC and that's our trailer. Man, I don't know if y'all remember the number was 366801. That's on your uh, paperwork, so you'll never forget it. But I'm finna a couple, so when I find my trailer, I like to immediately stop in front of it as much as possible. Then I'm going to finna bust a left. And then by the time I bust a full left, I should be right in front. I should be right in front of the uh in front of the trailer so I can just straight back up into it and hook up to it. Alright, y'all can see I done hooked up to it. I uh straight back to, uh, up into the trailer or whatever. You always want to make sure you do a tug test, man. You know, push that uh push that drone in, push the parking brake in. Of course, this one shouldn't even be in because you don't even have a trailer attached. You take your foot, you put it in, um, you put it in drive. Let's see if y'all can see. You can't, but it's in drive. Then you just do a, a, a tug. All right, so I did my tug. And, and just in case you want to make sure, you can just go up under the trailer and make sure that's locked in. That kingpin locked in around that jaw. Now, y'all know that's going to be on the, uh, pre-trip or whatever too because you got to pre-trip the trailer make sure the trailer good to go once again for the trailer i uh just kick the tires and stuff because you want to make sure them tires good now it's time to hook it up pick up my little tie thing hey gang y'all can't even say i don't care about y'all because this should take a lot of time trying to record this and do this at the same time but i can't even do this shit with one hand so i'm about to get back to y'all but i'm gonna hook the blue to the red the red to the red and that's the electric which is this uh my green zone sometimes black that's the electric your lights gonna immediately pop on once you hit them electric uh put that electric line in now you want to uh crank your landing gear up off the ground of course i got a uh janky little landing gear so i gotta do this off camera too gang all right i hooked up the trailer or whatever so that's our trailer number then you got the seal. You got to remember that seal. I got swing those today. 
So that means you gotta, uh, when you get to the store, you gotta open it up. Or they gotta come cut that, cut this white lock, this white uh, seal, I mean. When they cut it, then you open they, the doors for them, then you bag it in. So you gotta remember that number on there because you gotta put that in the tablet. And now you wanna uh, get to your tablet once you got your your job. First it'll say available, then once you finish whatever job, it'll say no. Then you just review it. And then you're just looking it over. Then you activate it. Then it's inactive, it's gonna go back to active. So it's inactive, then you hit view. And then I'm already here at the uh, DC with DC 17 and it's our, um, basically saying that I just arrived on its own. Then that's when I put in all the information that's on my paper in here. So it say, did you drop a trailer? No, I didn't. Then it say, did you pick up a trailer? And it's, of course I did. So I put in the trailer number, which is 366-801. 366-801. Scroll up, all this shit on the port, and you got to put in the weight. And all that, the information that I'm putting in is on the uh, trailer itself for the uh, seal. Sometimes it be on the paper, I mean, the paper, and sometimes it don't for, as far as the seal. So the weight is 5403. Now the weight ain't really always never heavy because it's just electronics. The pieces is also, uh, is also on the paper. The pieces is 48. That's not really a lot, so you know, hopefully it don't take these people that long. The seal, remember you gotta remember your seal, which is on the back of the trailer. Can I deliver on time? Yeah. I'm actually early, cause um, I'm supposed to be taking the load at six, but it's 5.43. I honestly would have been gone, but um, I just really want to show y'all who finna go on the Best Buy has, you know, easy this and simple that it is. So for some reason, I just pick a number. I should have put 10, knowing damn well I'm gonna be that way before 10. Then I hit submit. Now, I'm gonna scroll up. That's the store number 208. Remember I gave the guard 208. Hit navigate. That's gonna show me um, basically where it's, how far it is, what route to take, basically a GPS. But it is GPS. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. Then it's gonna say something about um, driving and the card and all that shit. But when it do this gang, when it do that, now it's out of 10, it ain't gonna pop up your uh, destination and stuff. So you gotta basically press the middle button on the tablet, go back to workflow. That's why all your stuff in your uh, jobs hit navigate again. This time it's gonna work perfectly. Then you hit use profile. Remember I had said something about the van? Now it's in it. We got basically three hours. At the max, it's gonna be three hours. But um, I don't never stop anyway. I always go straight to my load. And it might be a little less than that. It sound be there at 8.30, but I'll probably be there like 8.20, 8.15, something like that. So now you got where you're going to go. We got to go and pull out to the for the guard to look at the seal. All right, so you pull up to the guard shack. If y'all can see in that window, that's the guard shack with that dude standing there. Somebody usually come out a little door over there, but she just was checking somebody else's seal. So when she checked my seal, she going to come out and give her like a hands up, a thumbs up, whatever. She might wave her hand or whatever she might do uh, to let me know that I'm good and that I can go on here. I'm gonna see, uh, she walking back now, so we gonna see what she say. It's been a time where uh, my seal, I didn't put my uh, seal on correctly, and they had to do it over. I don't know if y'all just seen her walk past real quick. She just said, go on, get up out of here. And you see him just uh, flash. These truck drivers be impatient as hell sometimes. But we finna go on to Madison, uh, Wisconsin right now. All right, gang, so I made it to um, Madison, Wisconsin or whatever. Got my paperwork. So when you get here, you got to take it to the door. So we're going to go inside. Take your keys with you at all times, man, for sure. Now, since in the, uh, since in the beginning of the video, I was showing y'all that I got swing doors. When you get to the uh, door, you gotta make sure you tell them that you got swing doors so they can come cut that seal and you open the, uh, the swing door for them so you can then back into the dock. I'm at store uh, 208 or whatever. I thought it was a different type of store, but this store had gave me problems once upon a time. Just a, not really though, but it did. I just really parked it at the wrong dock thinking it's something else because it'd be sometimes hard to figure out which one is the best buy or whatever. 
So nine out of ten, well, a hundred percent of the time when you come, you are gonna see the Best Buy door. It's the door. Receive. You always come find this door. They say something receiving. It's gonna always be like a buzzer. You push it, then somebody gonna come open the door. Go for about three seconds. They come. You basically hand on the paperwork. You go back to the truck. Well. And this cat I tell him about the seal. So he can um, cut that joint. And sometimes they take forever, man. Sometimes they be just as ready as I am. So we gonna see in real time how long they take to open this door. How you doing? There you go. I got a, it's a swing door. Yeah. All right, appreciate it. All right, so he, he ain't take that long. It's, um, it's 8.34. Sometimes when I get here, man, these people don't open that door to nine. Sometimes they be right on time like he just was. And uh, sometimes if I come at seven, they don't do it to 7.30. So it's like each store is just different as hell. And that should be, that should be kind of annoying when I come early. Not saying that they need to get started early if I'm early, but I expect them to be ready at seven, 7.30 at the latest. I won't argue 7.30, but it's a uh, dock down there. I had parked down there and that was goddamn Nordstrom or something. And it was hard even getting in there the first time. And uh, she like, nah, this the wrong dock. So I had to come down here. And I think basically with this, I gotta do like, with this dock, I gotta basically do like the 90 degree to park it or whatever, not a 45. But he finna cut it, I'm finna open the door. All right, gang, he cut the seal. Let me see, this be right there. He cut it, and the seal always should be on the uh, right door when it's a swing door. These doors be tricky. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this one hand, but you gotta like unlock both of them first. And like put them in like that, and then it'll open smooth. And you swing it, put that inside of there. Put this inside of here, like that, and you just twist it, and it's secured. Do the same the other way. Like that in there, like that in there. Shit, I'm gonna look, give me problems right here, gang. Shit, I don't get no food for this. But that motherfucker's secure, as you can see by putting on it. Don't be trying to overdo some shit. But now I'm finna park it in the, uh, that little open dock over there. And then we are gonna wait. All right, so I just parked the truck and right now I'm just uh, waiting on them to unload, come back with the paperwork. Uh, it said 37 items. That shouldn't take long, but you never know with these, uh, with these stores, man. I done dropped some shit off that said 17. And they, it, they took way too long or whatever. But once you get to the store, the camera actually cut off on me. I had did it already, but I'm gonna try and walk y'all through it. This is gonna, it say off duty. Cause I just put it on off duty. It will, um, once you get to the store and let's just say you hop out and it's still on driving, it's gonna eventually turn off duty cause it's since you're not driving. So let's just say this is on, uh, on duty right now or driving. You click it and then you hit off duty. Once you hit off duty, you hit no skip, and then you hit confirm changes. Then you wait or whatever, and then it'll go off duty like it was, so it'll change. Now, off duty, um, you see everything stop. You see nothing winding down except for the 14 hours. Now, like in my hours of service update, what I had learned, when I sit here for two hours or longer, which I'm probably gonna do, um the 14 is going to stop and right now you see it's at 10 hours so after the two hours the 14 gonna stop and then i found that actually it gave me some time back on my 14 hour clock so let's say it went down to eight and then it's like damn you've been off duty for two hours or whatever i noticed that the 10 hours is back on here which is kind of cool whatever so you can really do anything right now man sometimes i take a nap in this motherfucker Sometimes I go get something to eat. I done even went and got some Tim's before. Um, sitting here waiting at the stove. But speaking of that, some people feel like uh, if you're doing uh, 
weight like you doing like stops or even people who drop a hook i don't know but people would say like they want to be more like active so they don't really like these type of accounts because they don't want to sit but my thing is that's a choice you don't have to sit like I'm, I'm at a stop right now and i don't do this all the time but sometimes when i'm at a stop i get out and i run you know what i'm saying because i don't want to be like not active either or not moving in some type of way because i'm driving then i get back there and take a nap now sometimes i literally at a store uh, get out and run you know what i'm saying just stay active you don't have to be feeling like you gotta be lazy that shit is a choice man but yeah like i said we just sitting there waiting right now they're gonna come out with the paperwork and then we're gonna put it all in the tablet we're gonna slide back because i only got one stop which is sweet man this should be an easy monday all right gang these people got done in an hour and a half man so when they come when they come back they're gonna bring you that same little thing back that you gave to them like in this little packet but the only thing that's gonna be important to you is gonna be the one that has going to um from the whatever store back to the dc in Bolingbrook or whatever your dc is uh it has to say that because you're gonna get this guard to the paper then with that that same paper that they're gonna stamp which is this you're gonna take a picture of it. so um now that they gave me the paper i gotta put it in the tablet all the information that's on that paper into the tablet and then we gonna i'm gonna head back to boiling brook and i'm gonna be done for the day man it's only 10 30 bro i'm gonna be done by like one o'clock that shit nice i ain't had this in a long long time if at all all right this is how you know like how long you been here and stuff because you just it, it tell you so i've been here an hour and 40 minutes so you go to your workflow Remember 208, that's your best buy. It put in there that it arrived for us. For customer name, when you filling these out, you got to put everything, fill in everything that said required. If that shit don't say required, you don't got to put it. At least I don't put it. So for customer name, it's the best buy that you at. And I'm at 208, so best buy 208. Scroll, the city is Madison. Then the state is Wisconsin. Drop it, uh, the weight. Like I said, everything gonna be on this paper. So let's see if I can find a way for y'all. The weight 7048. 7048. Uh, you don't gotta put pieces in again. Um, the name of the person who signed the bill, I always put manager. Uh, did it have damage? No. Um, the live on time, that ain't even important for some reason at this point then you put your estimated time that you're gonna get back to dc like i said i just throw a number out there knowing i'm gonna get there earlier then you hit submit then you going about your you going about your business the truck just shut off from Ireland. that's the new message basically saying that um i finished my at the store you hit navigate hit use profile uh three hours at the max going back man be there at 116 you know it's military time when you're doing trucking be back at 116 so all right gang i'm finna go on get back on this road real quick all right gang so i'm back at the dc remember take your paperwork to the to the bar shop like you was this morning and they gonna stamp it for you then that's when you're gonna take it back to the uh you're gonna park the trailer and you go about your day after you put it all in the uh, tablet. Once you see the uh, guard, they're going to stamp it and put your name or whatever they be putting down. They usually give you a door number to park it at. As far as like the dock, had them parked over there in the docks. But they ain't give me one. He said I could just drop it in the yard, which is cool because I ain't got to cut the seal to put a, um, I ain't got to cut the seal to open the doors and stuff. So that's easy on me. So last, which is the best part. You just gonna scan the paper in that they gave you, uh, and that's just how you get paid, man. And then uh, it's just on to the next after that. But just a quick overview: you just wake up, check your phone or the app. It's gonna tell you your store number or it's gonna be your trailer. Go to the guard shack. This the trailer number or this the store number. They give you the paper. You find the trailer. Um, after that, you put the trailer number information stuff in on the uh, tablet. Then you um. Head to the store. Once you get to the store, you get them the paper that the guard gave you. Um, then you go in the truck and you relax. They're going to come out. They're going to knock on the door. 
you get the paper, make sure that it's from the store that you went to back to the DC. Then you put it in your tablet and you head back to the DC. You back at the guard shack, they stamp your paper, you scan it in, you get paid and do it all again the next day. So all right, gang, um, it wasn't really more so about me trying to show y'all shit about hooking up the trailer and shit. It's really just to show y'all how that account go. But that's just a, a quick little summary at the end for y'all if you stuck around with me. But all right, gang, until next time, I'll holler at you.